Hey, hey, well, here we are back to this day. Okay, so Facebook has this new fun little thing going on where you can take one of your everyday ordinary photos and transform into a model on the cover of a glam magazine. I've been having a lot of fun with this. My pictures look nothing like me. It's amazing what a little bit of Photoshop can do. I saw a few of my Facebook friends using this thing before I tried it, and their pictures actually looked pretty good. They turned out good, and it still looked like them. And then I tried it, and it was like, what the heck? This is the first one I did. Okay, so I expect them to adjust the lighting and the shadows and smooth out the imperfections in the skin. What I didn't expect is for them to give me a total nose job. The tip of my nose looks like Michael Jackson. If you mess with the nose, then all the other features kind of look out of context, you know? It looks like my lips don't belong on my face anymore. So then I decided to try it again with a different picture and see if they would leave my nose alone. And this is what happened. No, that is not my nose. This does not look like me. I don't know who that is, but it's not me. So then I tried it again, and not only did they give me a nose job, but they changed my whole ethnicity. I look Puerto Rican in this picture. I look like I should be playing the part of Maria in West Side Story. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay. See, they did it again. They mess with my nose and now my lips look like Mick Jagger. I can't get no satisfaction. In this one, they didn't do as much with my nose, but whatever they did, it still looks nothing like me. Who is this? <laughs> do not recognize myself. See, they always want to refine the tip of my nose and they want to narrow the bridge. This one looks like if Steven Tyler and Vanna White had a love child. I would have to use a lot of bronzer to be that dark. Okay, so this one is actually from a professional photo shoot that I did way in the back when. I don't even know what to say. I just know that this doesn't look anything like me. This one's not horrible, but I don't know. It still doesn't look like me though. My nose! See, now this is one that at least looks something like me. It looks like me with a lot of makeup, but it still looks like me because that is my nose. Okay, so this one was also from that same photo shoot. I remember taking this picture. I was freezing to death on a fire escape in downtown Calgary. The photographer was fantastic, but he kept wanting to take more pictures. He used up a whole roll of film on that fire escape. And I was like, if you didn't get your shot, by this time, then I was either a really bad model or you are a really bad photographer. But this Photoshop though, this makes me look like a mannequin. This one's a little better. Not mad at this one. It's starting to improve some. Who are you? And they must really think I want my nose done. Not mad at it, because they didn't mess with my nose so much this time. But they did on this one. Okay, so this one I don't mind. I actually kind of like this one because this is my nose, that is my face, and even though it is inhumanly smooth, I give this one a pass. Not mad at this one either, because that is my nose, and relatively that's my skin tone. But this one, see, the original pic is in context. My head is thrown back because I'm laughing. This is also from that photo shoot. This photographer loved getting these kind of candid shots too, so he was snapping pictures the whole time. But see here what the Photoshop fairies did. Now I'm just in your face laughing. I look like a hood ornament from a car. And wow, with lots of very white teeth. No wonder I can't win at Laser Day. Eh? As soon as I smile in the black light, all you see are teeth. Ah, but I finally got this one. After all of those pictures, I finally got one that resembles me. Amazing what a little bit of Photoshop does though, huh? From Monday, I was hanging out with this cute pair. Who's 
two are really super cute together. Lexi is such a sweet natured dog. And she loves Jimmy Choo, but she just doesn't like it when he lays across her face. <laughs> Yummy Wednesday! I was in this kitchen for the last time, making tuna rolls. It's called My Landlord is a Total <laughs> This is some canned tuna, a little bit of carrot, some green onion, and a little bit of mini sweet red pepper. Mixing it around. Pepper, salt, dill. And now I'm going to put something creamy in there like this. And make it nice. That's what I'm going to do. I've only used these like a couple of times. <laughs> Holy crap, it's <laughs> This is just little strips of Swiss cheese. The day I care about how something looks is the day I'm a real chef. There they are, covered in chips. Well, there's my dinner tonight. Ooh, that's good. Those tuna rolls were so good. But if you don't like tuna, then chicken or ham or turkey works just as well. Miscellaneous Friday. Yeah, so I'm not that big on talking politics, but after Justin Trudeau's visit to India, okay, so, I don't usually get sucked into talking politics, but it's getting a little hard to ignore the crazy that is happening in Canada. Who's going to take Justin Trudeau seriously after this? How many Bollywood movies did Justin Trudeau watch before he came up with those costumes? I'll bet most of the people of India didn't even know who Justin Trudeau was. They just wondered whose wedding he was crashing. Justin Trudeau turning Canada into Canada. One foreign visit at a time. Mm. I don't know how much more of this liberal nonsense this country can take, but I sure hope this Yahoo doesn't get re-elected. <laughs> Testimony Sunday! I started talking about what happened next in my epic story. Battered women are expected to stay hidden. The abuser walks around in public, nobody knows. Domestic violence is one of the most hidden and yet one of the most obvious violent crimes committed in this country today. As a domestic violence victim, I totally broke protocol. I did not stay hidden. I wasn't gonna cower in shame, that wasn't mine. So I went out. I went grocery shopping, I hung out at the mall, went to the post office, went to movies, went out and ate in a restaurant. I lived my life. So yeah, I lived in a women's shelter. Women's shelters are, sadly, necessary, but there's a lot to be desired there, and I'm going to talk about that next Testimony Sunday. Living Room Karaoke Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that my voice is a little bit hoarse today. shocked that any notes came out at all that day. I mean, maybe it might have been better if they hadn't, considering the notes that did come out. <laughs> I have no pride. And there is still no Thursday vlog because nothing replaces this little girl. And so here we are back at today. Holly is a ragdoll cat, and she has a ton, a ton of hair. They lick themselves because they're self-cleaning. The next thing that happens is that they puke up a huge hairball. Hopefully, they do their hairball puke somewhere where it's easy to clean up, right? Like tile floor or linoleum or something. But most of the time, these guys do that on the rug. So today's life hack, cleaning up cat hair puke balls off the rug. Do you like this? Do you like it? Well, there it is. There's Holly's hairball. Now, this is gonna seem a little bit gross, but I pet sit, so I've learned these things. When they do this on hardwood, you wanna clean that up right away. When they do it on the rug, though, if it's possible and you can handle leaving it alone and letting it dry, leave it alone and let it dry. Chances are they're not going to eat it. If you have other animals that might try to eat it, cover it up. Try to quarantine it a little bit. So let it dry right out, and then watch this. 
All right, so here's Holly's offensive little trick. Putting on some vinyl gloves, and I'm just gonna pick it right up. Take the sponge. Now that it's dry, it comes right out. And it doesn't even leave a stain. See that? Like it never happened. And now, all the things that inconveniently happened. Yes, because I am. Ow. Because I am smashing my knee against the cover. That one hurt. Ow. Mm. Ow. Blah. Blah. Government job. Am I? Oh, yeah, well, let's try that again. Get away from me! It's not gonna be good. Capacity. I have no voice left. I've tried it like what like three or four or five times. I can't get through the end courses It's such a long time on sustained belt range notes and when my voice is in good shape I can do that but <laughs> Today is not that day <laughs> If I make it through this song is what it are It's the dumbest line in the song. The sleep in your eyes is enough. What kind of a love song talks about eye boogers? What next? Morning breath halitosis? Is that sexy too? The only thing getting me through this song today is tea and perseverance. So that brings to its conclusion. And that means that I am ready to do this all again on Monday. Please keep showing love to my friend Steve and his wife Heather with your prayers. Please give to the GoFundMe account. It helps them more than you will ever know. Thank you all so much for joining me on the frosted side and supporting my channel and watching my vlogs. This little channel continues to grow because of you guys, so mad love. Please remember to subscribe, comment, like, share, and all the things. I love you all. Take care of each other. God bless you. Mwah. Not me.